It's the IAEA that promotes nuclear power, right, but says you mustn't build bombs from your reactor. Um, and that uh, negotiation took place, I, oh God, several decades, quite a lot of decades ago. And the WHO and just does not, it has up. not examined the results. Yes, this is the biggest medical to conspiracy cover up the and cover up of in the history radiation. of medicine, George. Yes. Right. So, so, right. So, so, that, so the WHO, IAEA, so, the uh, UN Scientific yep. Committee on the Effects of Atomic um, Radiation, I all of them are part of the I don't know about the UN Scientific Committee. Well, that's well, a huge... Well, certainly mean, the IAEA I mean, and is, the WHO. The UN Scientific Committee is the major repository of the science on this issue. You don't know about it? Well, yeah, no, I've read about it, but the main thing is that the WHO was prevented or did not examine the results from Chernobyl, and it's ongoing and will be for generations and generations, George. Mm, but the United the soil, Nations did. 40% of the soil the United in Nations, Europe is contaminated. The United Nations Committee did examine Chernobyl, and they um, said that oh, yeah? so far the death toll from Chernobyl amongst both workers and local people is 43. Am I, sorry, are you saying you didn't know that they'd That's examined this lie, and you aren't, aren't That's aware of their lie. report? That's a lie. What's a lie? How dare they say that? How dare they say that? This is a total cover-up. We're going to wrap with yes, 10 yes, seconds I of each. Uh, in this I wake am. of what has happened in Japan mm. and uh, on this anniversary of Chernobyl three weeks away. I give you each 15 seconds to express your concern as we wrap up this debate, beginning with George Mambia. Well, we have to use the best available science, not cherry-pick our sources, and we have to keep some perspective on this so that we don't see a massive rush to coal as governments get out of nuclear as a result of what's happened in Japan. And Helen Caldicott, 15 seconds. George, I totally agree with you about coal. I think it's a deadly substance and we must stop burning a la James Hansen. But we must not go from the global warming frying pan into the nuclear fire, George. This is an obscene technology. They've known about it since the Manhattan Project. Seaborg, who discovered plutonium, said it's the most dangerous substance on Earth. Each reactor has... 500 pounds of plutonium lasts for half a million years, we losing will. cancer after cancer. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says the facility has emitted 80% more radioactive materials since last year's accident than originally estimated. The actual amount has yet to be confirmed. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company now estimate that 900,000 terabecquerels of iodine-131 and cesium-137 have been released into the air. That's less than 20% of the amount emitted by the accident in Chernobyl but it's 50 to 80 percent higher than separate estimates by the Nuclear Safety Commission and the Nuclear Industrial Safety Agency. Tokyo has analyzed the damaged reactors, radiation levels around the plant and radioactive materials in soil samples. A UN agency says the deaths of six workers at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant were not linked to radiation. The UN Scientific Committee on the Effects of Atomic Radiation, or UNSCARE, released a preliminary report at its headquarters in Vienna on Thursday. Its study began last May based on data provided by the Japanese government. Based on data provided by the Japanese government. We don't have any indication that their death was related to radioactivity and exposure. Based on data provided by the Japanese government. On the other hand, the committee confirmed that eight of the roughly 20,000 workers who had been involved in operations at the plant until late January were exposed to more than 100 millisieverts of radiation. Anyone with that dose is said to have an increased risk of cancer. UNSCARE plans to compile a final report and submit it to the UN by the end of next year.
The World Health Organization says some Japanese citizens were exposed to up to 50 millisieverts of radiation during last year's nuclear crisis, but it insists that this is not enough to cause cancer. The WHO released a preliminary report on estimated radiation exposure for the four months after the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant in March 2011. The report estimates that Namie Town and Itate Village in Fukushima Prefecture close to the plant were exposed to the highest levels of 10 to 50 millisieverts. It says other parts of the prefecture received between 1 and 10 millisieverts. Areas outside the immediate impact of the disaster got 0.1 to 1 millisievert. No area of the country saw exposures exceeding the cancer risk level of 100 millisieverts. On the other hand, the committee confirmed that eight of the roughly 20,000 workers who had been involved in operations at the plant until late January were exposed to more than 100 millisieverts of radiation. The WHO says the estimates may be too high because it assumed that people remained in their communities near the plant for four months after the accident. In fact, most quickly evacuated. The organization says it will release a final report in July. That report will include a comprehensive assessment of the accident's impact on human health. Firefighters are trying to confirm a report that four people are trapped inside a tunnel in central Japan. Workers were building a road through a mountain when something inside blew up. The explosion took place in mid-morning in the city of Minami Ronuma. Police say the explosion threw workers at the entrance to the tunnel off their feet. Doctors are treating three of them in hospital. Police and firefighters are working together to try to figure out what happened. Spokespersons for Japan's land ministry say workers were trying to move construction materials at the time. The tunnel is expected to be about three kilometers long when it completed, and police say the explosion appears to have occurred more than one kilometer into it. That there's a lot of tubes, volcanic tubes, in this vicinity here in Japan. Japan is a very uh, seismic active area. We have the Pacific Plate lying out here. And we also have volcanic activity in Japan, and a lot. And Japan, as we speak, is already doomed. And it's just a question of time. Uh, Japan is going to finally go down when Fujiyama is going to go erupt.
notice how weird it starts to get when you just stop breathing? <laughs> 